At one point in your life, you're gonna have to stack your money, bro. At one point in your life, you're gonna have to make sacrifices and invest your money. And at one point in your life, you have to make sacrifices and cut people off, not talk to girls as much, not do the things that you want to do because that's the only way that you're gonna stack your money. Yo, what's going on, G Dot family? You already know it's your boy G Dot back with another but 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 banging ass video. And today, man, I got some more financial advice because a lot of y'all don't know how to stack y'all money, bro. A lot of y'all just spending y'all money, y'all willy nilly, don't know what to do with it, just throwing it at random things, buying Alexander McQueen's, buying goddamn Da Vinci, buying Louis V. Y'all don't even know what y'all spending y'all money on. Y'all don't even know that's meant for the rich folks. And we ain't rich yet, so we gotta spend our money on stuff that matters and invest our money. So today, I'm gonna teach y'all the three ways to stack y'all money, bro. But before we get into the video, y'all already know what to do. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a new banging ass video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at WildboyG. and Twitter at WildboyG. The links for all my social media are gonna be in the description below, including for my gaming channel. You dig what I'm saying? Cause I whoop a nigga's ass, bro, and everything. I'm talking about an Apex, Madden, Call of Duty, Warzone. Anything you wanna see a nigga catch a W in, bro. I'm catching daily W's and that. So go ahead and follow me on Twitch at WildboyG. And also, don't forget to support me on Patreon if you wanna learn how to make some more money in the stock market, how to make money in the crypto market, how to start your business, business ideas, how to get your credit right. For all that information, just go ahead and hit the link in my description and support me on Patreon. Or if you just want to support your boy, you only cost one dollar a month, go ahead and support your boy on Patreon, man. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Now look, man, a lot of people don't know how to stack their money. A lot of people just think they're going to make it back whatever they spend. But let me tell you, bro, that's a dumb way to think because if you're spending all your money that you're getting from your job, how you gonna make it back? You don't got another source of income nine times out of ten that's matching your job income or making more than your job income. So you're just spending money on dumb things like I said earlier, like McQueen's. You got bad habits like weed or you drinking lean. Hopefully you're not drinking lean. Or if you're just spending money on going out all the time, going to clubs, taking girls out, you did what I'm saying? Come on, bro. You can't be doing none of that. You gotta stack your money and invest your money. So right now I'm gonna teach you the top three ways to stack your money, bro. You don't gotta do nothing out of the ordinary. You don't gotta do nothing too crazy. All you gotta do is stack your money and put it to the side so it can work for you later. All right, so the first way you can stack your money bro you gotta do the 40 40 20 rule now the 40 40 20 rule bro is after you pay your bills the rest of the money that you get from your check you gotta put that up now how do you put your money up a lot of you don't even know how to stack your money or what you put it towards this is the 40 40 20 rule 40 percent of it goes back into your business that way you can start growing your business and you can get more money that way you get another source of income because without another source of income how are you gonna retire early how are you gonna do the things that you want to do you're always gonna be slaving for your job and you're not gonna have no financial stability without financial stability all you're gonna do is be working a regular job and working there for the rest of your life because you're not gonna have nowhere else to go you're not gonna have no other source of income you're not gonna have no other way to get the money to pay your bills you need to pay your bills to live and survive because you don't want to be on the street so you gotta have financial stability so you can take control of your future so always Always put 40% of your money back into your business and if you don't have a business right now learn how to start a business figure out what business you want to start and put 40% of your money into that or put 40% of your money into investing in something because in the long run it pays off to start a business because you might not make money off your business right now you might not make a hundred grand a year but at the end of the day two years from now three years from now you're gonna be making enough money to at least support yourself off your business instead of working a job the rest of your life and depend on that to pay your bills because at any time you can get fired you can get laid off you can get hurt and not go to work no more life can happen and you gotta move bro your job can shut down a lot of things can happen so you don't want to depend on the job depend on yourself always count on yourself not on anybody else that's how you make a lot of money bro so put 40 percent of your money back into your business and now with the other 40 percent of your money now you're up to 80 percent of your money the other 40 percent goes straight into investments and stash money you always gotta have some stash money because you never know what's gonna happen bro if you get fired from your job today you want to have a nice little cushion you can sit on just in case anything happened bro let's say you get fired from your job today because they said you were slacking off at work or because they said they had to let some people go right now you got some money to sit on and figure out your next move instead of not having no money now you can pay your rent now you can pay all your bills now you can even eat a little you feel me live your life a little while you figure stuff out that way you don't gotta depend on anybody else for any money you don't gotta beg and plead anybody for any money take any loans out that way you don't gotta wait on another job to hire you and pray that they pay you the same amount of money that you was just getting paid so you can pay your bills with no issue and another reason so you're just not desperate and doing anything for some money because that's how people go to jail most people go to jail because they're desperate for money and they're trying to do anything to get a quick buck. And so when you're desperate for money and you're trying to do anything to get a quick buck, that's how you can get extorted. That's how you can go homeless. That's how you can go to jail, bro. Because the number one person that's taking advantage of, bro, is people that are desperate. So you never want to be in a position that you're desperate and looking for money because once you're in that position, anything can happen. It's only going to go downhill from there. So always have a little stash money put to the side so you can pay your bills off if anything happens. And also have a little money put to the side, bro, because you never know what can happen in life, bro. You might get arrested. You might get a ticket. You might need bail money or bond money. 
money, you might need lawyer money, something might happen to your car, something might happen with your girl you need to pay for, something might happen with your kid that you need to pay for. You always want to have money put to the side just in case any of these things happen because if you don't got any money put to the side when these things happen, bro, you're not going to have any way to get out of these situations. You always want to have a way out of these situations. Now, also with the other 40% of your money that you're putting away, bro, put it into the stock market, put it into the crypto market, put it into an IRA, put it into something that's going to make you some money, bro, because you always want to have some money put up that's making some money for you on the side. Because like I said earlier, you don't just want to depend on your job for your money because once you're depending on your job for your money, once you get fired and anything happens to your job, it's over with, bro. There's no going back to that job. So you always got to have some money working for you just in case you have a rainy day or just in case something happens with your job. Now you have a lot of money put up. You don't have money just in your stash box. You got money that's been put up that's been incurring interest for you. So now you got more money than you started out with. And then you can flip that money and do something else with that money or spend that money on you going on a vacation or something. It's all about making more money. That's the name of the game. Always investing and making more money with your money. It's all about making your money work for you, not working for your money. You got to think smarter instead of working harder. That's the name of the game, bro. So once you figure that out, you're going to be making a lot more money. And since now we're at 80%, now you have 20 percent left with the rest of your money bro go eat out go live your life go on a vacation go take your girl out go do something fun because you can't just be worried about work 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 stress 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 all day that's how you're gonna lose yourself that's how you're gonna lose your mind because everybody wants to go out and have fun everybody wants to go do something that's fun to them whether that's going to the club playing a game all day taking a vacation going and bagging a girl go do something that you want to do with your life you got to enjoy your life because that's what you're doing all this for to enjoy your life but you're only doing it with 20 percent of your money instead of 50 percent of your money so you can make more money from your money you see what i'm saying because the more money that you got put up and that's working for you that's getting flipped the more you're going to get in the long run and the better that your life is going to be down the road because if you're doing this now and you're 20 years old at 30 or 40 you can live a more comfortable life instead of getting to that age in life and being like damn bro i didn't stack any money i don't have any money put up and now you're living on section eight living in the hood you don't got nowhere to go and you're hearing gunshots every night and seeing people getting robbed because that's the type of environment that you chose to live in because you didn't invest your money and stack your money so always put your money up and let it work for you and the second way to stack your money, bro, live under your income. For example, bro, if you're making $10,000 a month, why are you spending eight to $9,000 a month doing stuff that doesn't even matter? Why are you spending eight to $9,000 a month going out, buying clothes, trying to impress girls and bad girls all the time? That doesn't matter, bro. In the long run, you're gonna be mad because you're gonna be broke and sitting on your ass because you're not gonna have any money put up. You gotta live under your income. So if you're making $10,000 a month, bro, after you pay your bills and everything, bro, try to live off $2,000 a month or $1,000 a month. If you can do that, you're gonna have a lot of money put up in the future because you're gonna have a lot of money stacked up that you haven't touched. You're gonna have a lot of money in your investments accounts. You're gonna have a lot of money in your stash box. You're gonna have a lot of money put back into your business. You're gonna have a lot of money on the side that you can flip, that you can put into different things that you can live off of in case anything happened. Because if you're spending all your money now, you're gonna be in the same position as you were before you got the money. Broke, living in a hood, and not having nowhere to go. And in case anything happens to your car, or anything happens with your life, anything that happens with anything that you didn't calculate, bro, you're gonna be mad and you're gonna be assed out because you're not gonna have any money put up to take care of these things, bro. Problems always arise, problems always happen. So don't think that nothing's ever gonna happen to me because something's gonna happen to you. It's better just to have money put up in case anything happens to you because once you got this money put up in case anything happens to you, now you got a little cushion that you can sit on and now you're not worried and stressed all the time. Now you're not thinking every day like, damn, I gotta bust a move, I gotta do something illegal to get this money. You don't have to do that because you already got money put up for you. So always live under your income. And that's how the rich stay rich because they live under their income. A lot of rich people don't have these big ass mansions and these nice foreign cars that you see on TV. A lot of rich people live in a regular suburban house, you feel me? It's still nice, it's still to their standards, but it's not this big 30 room mansion that a lot of people live in. A lot of people that can't afford to live in and really live in it. That's how people lose their money too because they buy things that they can't afford. A lot of people don't have foreign cars. They got a regular Honda or they got a regular Chevy. They got regular things that they can afford the maintenance on that's not taken away from their money. Because the more outlandish things that you buy with your money, bro, the less money that you're gonna have. Because a lot of these things aren't investments, bro. They're actually liabilities. A lot of these things aren't assets or liabilities where they're taken away from your money. For example, a car depreciates as soon as you drive it off the lot. As soon as you drive that car off the lot, bro, it's depreciating. It's not worth the same amount of money that you just bought it for. So once something happens to this car or you get tired of it you try to sell it, you're not going to get a lot of money for it because it's not worth anything at this time, bro. You always got to have things that appreciate in value, bro. That's why people buy watches. That's why people buy houses in good areas that's going to appreciate in value. And that's why people buy different types of assets that's going to appreciate in value because it's always going to make them money. That's another investment. That's another way you can invest your money. But that's a topic for a different day. I'm going to make a whole different video about assets and liabilities because a lot of y'all don't even know about that. So I'm going to hook y'all up on free game about that too. And the third way to stack your money, bro, go out less. Just go out less. Don't live your life as much. I know you want to go out and do everything that you dreamed of doing and live your life to the fullest, but right now is not the time. 
Right now is the time to stack your money because let me tell you something. At one point in your life, you're going to have to stack your money, bro. At one point in your life, you're going to have to make sacrifices and invest your money. And at one point in your life, you're going to have to make sacrifices and cut people off, not talk to girls as much, not do the things that you want to do because that's the only way that you're going to stack your money. It's impossible to stack your money and do everything that you want to do. Something's going to have to get cut out. Whether that's eating out all the time, going out all the time, buying all the designer fancy clothes, something has to get cut out your lifestyle so you can stack your money and get to the point that you want to be. Because if you're not getting to the point that you want to be in life, you're always going to be stuck in a stagnant position. And once you're in a stagnant position, you can't go anywhere. That's how people work at a job the rest of their life because they're stuck in a stagnant position. You're taking the money that you're getting from the job, putting it right back into your bills, then fucking it off, spending it on dumbass stuff. So once you spend on that dumbass stuff, you're flat broke again. Now you're hustling at your job, trying to work overtime, trying to ask your boss for more hours. Then once you get the more hours, what are you doing? The same exact thing. So once you get fired from that job, you're not going to have any stash money. You're not going to have any investments. You're not going to have anything working for you, bro. And that's not a position that you want to be in. Always have some money working for you in a business. Always have some money working for you in investments. I always have some money in the stash box just in case a rainy day happens. Because you never know when a rainy day is going to come, bro. A rainy day can come at any time and you can't plan for that. So always have some money put up just in case that happens. So you're always going to be straight, bro. So if you go out less, cut your expenses and live by the 40, 40, 20 rule, bro, you're going to be good, bro. I promise you, you're going to be straight in the long run. You might not see a big ass difference in your first month, but in two, three months, you're going to see a huge difference. You just cut out all the liabilities and cut out all the extra expenses that you're spending money on, bro. I promise you, you're going to see a huge difference. But that's the end of the video, though, GDOT family. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a new banging ass video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at guaboyg. and Twitter at guaboyg. Also, don't forget to support me on Patreon if you want to learn some more financial advice. But that's all I got for y'all today, GDOT family, man. We out.